Hi, I'm going to show you a sample exam. So let's say you finished checking in with the invigilator and you already initiated your screen recording. Now it's time to start the exam. So when told so by your invigilator, you go to classwork. You can see the exam is actually divided into three sections. Now this is actually done for your own good. Why is that? So that you keep on saving your progress every time. Section 1 is MCQ, Section 2 is Theory or whatever. If unfortunate events such as laptop crashing or internet disconnection occur, at least the sections that you have already completed will not be lost. Alright, so what you have to do, first go to Section 1, click on the link, and this is your exam. As you notice, your Chrome has only four tabs, the Google Classroom, the Google Form, your meeting with the invigilator and the meeting that is screen recording you are not allowed and I repeat you are not allowed at all to have any other open tabs alright so those are the instructions now you need to type in your name alright oops mm, you see this is what happens when you don't read the instructions every time you type in your name you must use capital letters All right, select your date. So let's say 1081 and then you click next. In this page, uh, let's look at the questions. This seems hard. What is the best subject? Oh, no, this is easy. Of course, it's physics. What is comparable to physics? Let's see the options. Oh, of course, nothing is comparable to physics. All right, so you click next and you are done. You have been an awesome student and you managed to answer all questions in this section. It is a fact that physics is the best subject. Press submit below, then close this tab and go to the following section. Alright, so pressing submit. Great job, okay, this is good. Okay, so we close this. We go to the Google Classroom and select the other section. Now let's look at this, uh, same instructions. Also, you need to write the name. Luckily, we learned from the first time it should be all in capital. Grade 10 A1. Next. So this is the true and false section. Oh, the question seems harder. Mm, okay, so yeah, this is true. Physics is the best subject. Nothing is comparable to physics. Uh, this always confuses me, but yeah, it's true. All right, and then we submit again. Great job, your progress have been saved. Close this tab and go to the Google Classroom and start answering the following section of the exam. So we'll close this tab and we go to the final section. So same thing, you need to fill your name in all of them. Oh, this is fill in the blanks, it seems hard. Okay, you have the options over here. Uh, blank is the best subject and blank is comparable to physics uh, all right so I know for number one the best subject is physics what about two hmm. uh, chemistry bio I don't think so probably nothing or everything uh, I'm not sure hmm. let me ask Google oops oh sorry I'll just try my luck, let's say nothing, this is hard. Alright, now before we press next, I want to emphasize on one thing. Never, and I mean never, use those functions. Never at all use those functions. Never refresh. If you want to go back or forward, make sure you use, make sure you use these two. Alright, uh, you have been an awesome student, yay, and you managed to answer all questions in this section. In fact, physics is the best subject. Please submit below and close this tab and check with your invigilator. Alright, so submit. Yay, you are super and managed to finish the exam. And that's it. You submitted your exam. You just need to continue with the exam procedures that you already know. Thank you for watching. See you in the coming video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support your favorite teacher, Majd teaching the best subject physics.